So I'm going to show you how to connect to Oracle. We're going to start with the Data Explorer. And if you come over here, you can expand either FireDAC or DB Express. We're going to use FireDAC right now. And come down here and find Oracle Server. Now this is a list of all the databases that FireDAC supports. Also notice there is ODBC and DB Express, which unlocks even more databases that you can support through those indirection layers. So under Oracle, we're going to, right now we have nothing under it, so we're gonna right click on it and say add new connection. And I'm gonna call it HR for human resources. This is gonna open up the FireDAC connection editor and select the driver ID Aura, which is the one you use for Oracle. We need to specify the database. You can do this a number of ways. If you have your TNS name set up, you can just specify the alias there or use a full definition like you see here that explicitly specifies the service name, host, protocol, etc. So we're going to use that right now in here. There's actually like three or four other options as well for things you can do. We're going to specify a username and a password. Notice it supports OS authentication. And I'm going to specify the default schema and current schema as HR as well. Do it. Let me connect to it. Test. There we go. Connection established. And I can come over here and I can run a query against the database. So duels the mystery table that always has one column, one row with an X in it and run that here. So you can actually check and say, hey, am I in the right database? Is things working like I expected? So it's more than just a simple test, but actually going in and querying the data all from the screen here. Lots of great options. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And so now we've created the entry in Data Explorer for Oracle. So let's make a new application, new multi-device application. Works the same on VCL or FireMonkey. I'm just doing, uh, Fire Monkey for now. And here's a list of all the tables. Now, notice that it includes all the other tables here and other namespaces, but, or the schemas, but it has these, these are the HR schemas, because I mouse over and you can see they're .hr, .tables, .jobs, but it has the HR taken off because I told it that those were assumed that it was that schema. So I can come in here and let's say, I wanna see my employees. I can come in here and see what rows are in there. Take a look at that. So I could drag just an individual row or I could grab a whole table. Let's do a whole table. And let's connect to the database. Let's get some of that fantastic design time data going here and bind visually. And there we go. So let's hide those non-visual components. And we can run this on Windows and see all of our data. So there we go, just really quick, we've connected to an Oracle database, we've pulled some data in there through the Data Explorer, bound it to a grid, and are now displaying to the user at runtime. Uh, this does require that you have the Oracle driver installed on your machine. I found that the full install works better than the instant client thin install, but you may know more about Oracle than I do. It's been a while since I've used it, and you may be able to get it working without using the full install.